In just around 20 years, Turkey has established itself as a genuine global industrial power. Its heavy industry sector now competes with those of France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. However, this is only part of the story. Turkey has also astonished the world by rising to become one of the global leaders in arms exports, directly challenging nations like Israel, the third largest exporter of versatile military drones. Currently, nearly 35 countries deploy Turkish drones, such as the famous Bayraktar TB2, which has demonstrated its effectiveness on modern battlefields, including in Ukraine. Remarkably, despite an ongoing war, Ukraine provides engines for some of these drones, illustrating the strategic and technological reach of this Turkish revolution. This monumental achievement in weapons manufacturing and other heavy industries can be traced back to the announcements made by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan when he became Prime Minister in 2003. It prompts the question, how did Turkey build the world's largest fleet of armed drones, and why are these drones so popular today? The Turkish army is the second largest military force in NATO after the US armed forces and ranks 13th globally. The primary reason Turkey ranks 13th and not higher, 6th or 7th, is the absence of nuclear weapons. Although Turkey does not possess nuclear weapons directly, its NATO membership and the presence of American nuclear bases on its territory provide indirect nuclear capability. Technically, any military force in the world engaged in a non-nuclear war with Europe would first have to confront the Turkish armed forces before facing the military power of the United States. This might seem surprising to many, given that Turkey is an Islamic country with nearly 96% of its 90 million citizens identifying as Muslim. Turkey is deeply committed to manufacturing its own weapons and exports a wide range of modern military equipment and ammunition. This includes the Alte main battle tank, the Terex infantry transport vehicle, the amphibious combat vehicle Tulpar, and the Kaplan heavy infantry fighting vehicle. Additionally, Turkey has developed the Barbaros-class frigate, the Ta Augusta Westland T-129 ATAC all-weather attack helicopter, and the Aselsan family of missile systems. Other highlights include the T-155 self-propelled howitzer and the Ta I Herjet advanced supersonic trainer jet. These developments underline Turkey's ambition to build a self-reliant defense industry. Moreover, Turkey's drone fleet surpasses in size the combined drone forces of all European nations. It includes over 200 Bayraktar TB2 and TB3 drones, alongside numerous other indigenous models such as the Anka, Anka 3, and Akuncha drones, renowned for their advanced technology. And to provide context, the United Kingdom possesses only a modest fleet of 10 Reaper drones, built in the United States more than 20 years ago. In contrast, Turkey's TB2 and TB3 drones cost between $5 million and $8 million each, but are equipped with extremely sophisticated technological systems. The success of Turkey's advanced drones can largely be attributed to a single visionary engineer, Selçuk Bayraktar. In 2005, Selçuk, then 26 years old, graduated with a degree in electrical engineering from Turkey's top university. Two years later, he earned a master's degree from the University of Pennsylvania, but dropped out of a PhD program at MIT after one year as he felt it unnecessary. Bayraktar already had a vision for the groundbreaking technology that would revolutionize warfare. Fortunately, his family owned a company called Baykar Makina, founded by his father in 1984, to produce automotive components as part of Turkey's early efforts to manufacture cars. In the 2000s, the company shifted its focus to unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Selçuk Bayraktar is undeniably the founding father of Turkey's most advanced drones. On the economic front, military drones continue to play a significant role in boosting the export revenues of Turkey's defense industry. According to 2024 statistics, Turkey achieved a new record with $7.2 billion in drone exports, an amount exceeding the annual defense budgets of several European nations. This success pushed the country's total arms exports past $12 billion this year. Turkey is now approaching the levels of China and the United States, solidifying its position as a global leader in drone exports. The Atlantic Council reports that Turkey has around 2,000 companies involved in weapons manufacturing. In July 2023, 
Turkey signed a $3 billion contract with Saudi Arabia for the supply of Bayraktar Akunja drones, marking the largest defense and aerospace export deal in the history of the Turkish Republic. The Bayraktar TB2 is the drone that propelled Turkey onto the international stage. This medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, is capable of autonomous or remote-controlled flight. It is operated by a ground team that also manages its weapons. By November 2021, the Bayraktar TB2 had accumulated 400,000 flight hours globally, earning it the title of the workhorse of the Turkish military. The TB2 conducted its maiden flight in August 2014. Initially, the Bayraktar TB1 relied on imported and regulated components such as Austrian Rotax 912 engines, Canadian Westcam optical systems, and German-made parts. However, the TB2 and its components are now entirely manufactured in Turkey. The Bayraktar TB2 features a lifting body design with an inverted V-tail structure. Thrust is generated by a two-blade, variable-pitch propeller in a push configuration. The monocoque platform is modular, with detachable main elements such as wings and tail arms. The new generation Bayraktar TB3, also developed by Baykar, represents a significant leap forward. With folding wings, it can perform short takeoffs and landings, making it suitable for deployment on small naval vessels like the TCG Anadolu, Turkey's first amphibious assault ship inspired by Spain's Juan Carlos I aircraft carrier. Baykar is rapidly advancing its most ambitious drone yet, the Kızılelma, which completed its maiden flight in 2022. Measuring 4.6 meters in length with a wingspan of 9.7 meters, the Kızılelma boasts a range of 925 kilometers, an operational altitude of over 10 kilometers, and a maximum speed of around 740 kilometers per hour. It features stealth technology, including an angular design that reduces radar signature and an internal weapons bay. This drone is equipped with advanced features like an active electronically scanned array, a radar, and autonomous takeoff and landing capabilities. It is powered by the Ukrainian-built AI-322F subsonic engine, with production continuing despite the ongoing war. The Kuzalelma is expected to carry various armaments, including precision-guided munitions and cruise missiles developed by Turkish manufacturers. Other notable drones produced by Turkey include the Tai Aksungur and Anka, designed exclusively for the Turkish Armed Forces. These drones stand out for their speed, advanced capabilities, and formidable performance. In conclusion, Turkey is redefining the global drone industry and positioning itself as a rival to the world's greatest powers in this field. What are your thoughts on Turkey's rise in the military drone sector? Share your opinions in the comments and like and subscribe to my channel.